Welcome to the Catholic Man Show. We're on the Lord's team, the winning side, so raise your glass. I'm Adam Minahan, and today, for the very first time, we are not in studio. I'm here today with my bud, David Niles, but we, Dave, are not in studio. We're in God's studio. Yes, we are. We are actually in God's studio. We are out camping with our brothers here in, in Tulsa, or outside of Tulsa. Greenleaf State Park. So I think the harmonica is really a good instrument to play, you know, for like someone to be listening to you, trying to learn how to play, because everything that you play is always going to be in the same key. You can't play a note that's not in the key of the harmonica because it's scaled. You know, when you get a harmonica, I don't know what this one is, this is just a cheap uh, toy harmonica, that's why I brought it camping, but really, it's not like the violin where you're going to play something that doesn't belong in that key. Hey guys, just wanted to give you guys an idea of where we've been fishing all day today. We caught, oh, we caught a lot of fish, but most of them were not worth keeping. Some, but I just wanted to show you guys where we've been fishing, just how pretty it is. We actually walked, you can actually see this little area that we walked down there. There's a little bank we were able to fish off of and then as you go this way as well, you can go up right there, through there. This was just, oh, probably 100, 150 feet from our campsite. So, I actually got up this morning and sat right here on this rock, prayed the rosary. such an amazing time. Check this out. It's just a steak that you put into the campfire and there's a grate that you can raise and lower and then swing over the campfire. We cooked steak, we've, we've cooked um, fish, we've cooked uh, what else? chicken legs, what else have we cooked, Dave? We've cooked quite a bit of stuff. Everything. Yeah, breakfast burritos. Yeah. Um, we've cooked quite a bit of stuff, but it also comes with, you know, right here, a flat skillet, you can put it on there. So you can actually have multiple things on there at once, which is really cool. We actually uh, had coffee going on this one this morning while we were also frying bacon on this one. Um, so it's just a really sweet potential man gear coming up. Um, it has to be, it. David has to be a man I gear. I agree. And uh, that thing over there, oh, yeah. if you don't have a fire, you can put coals on that and put that on the bottom. Yeah, that, so if so. you don't have if you don't have a fire going yet, you can put coals on there, slide this one up at the very bottom and rotate that over and then put your wood over the top of it um, to get the fire started, to get it really hot. Or just or just coals, either yeah, way. Yeah, or just mm -hmm. coals. So I also wanted to say that while I've been out here for really no reason, but I've been wearing this knife and I actually went to mass tonight with this knife on. It probably is the only time I've ever been participating in mass with a knife on my hip pocket, so I've, I haven't really used it other than cutting a couple things, like our steaks, things like that. But this has been pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet knife. Yeah, one piece. One solid piece. So, anyway, I just had to highlight that because I felt like I'm never gonna be able to brag about keeping a knife on me while at mass this big. Cheers to Jesus.
Hey guys, one of the things we mentioned on The Man Show was about opening a bottle with your wedding ring. Now, I don't recommend this for all wedding rings. If you have a gold wedding ring, then bad idea. it's a bad idea. It's, it's gonna scratch your ring. I have a tungsten carbide ring. It cannot be scratched. It's, I mean, I think maybe a diamond can scratch it, but anything else, it's gonna be fine. I do this all the time. It's super handy. You have a, a bottle opener anywhere you go. Here's, here's how you do it. First, you wanna make sure your wedding ring is scoot all the way down on your finger. If you don't do that, this is really gonna hurt. You wanna put the ring under the cap, okay, like that. And then just grab, and then you're going to rotate your hand around the bottle. So you get it, and... Just like that. Cheers to Jesus. Hey guys, we're just wrapping up our camping trip. This is our campsite. There was a lot more people here earlier, but some of them had to leave, but the three of us are gonna stay the night again tonight. Scott's over here filleting some of the fish that we caught today, living on the fruit of the land. Way to go, Scott. Way to go. Not much. He drew We've got Father Brian over snack. here preparing his homily for tomorrow. Yep. He, he just celebrated mass for us at a, a table down here by the lake. It was awesome. We had the lake in the background. It's just the, the four of us, including Father Brian, with, with mass. And all the angels and saints. And all the angels and saints, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. Check out this wood we found. Do we have any? It's all in the fire. Oh, all. Show them the wood. Here. Okay. Here, you can see that. It's cedar. And cedar does that, but most of the time when you find it, it's not that purple. And let me tell you, it smells good. Yeah, it does smell really good. So anyway, it's been a sweet time on the camp out. And it's uh, almost time to cook some steak and some fish. That's right, we, we were taking an assessment. It's like, what do we have left? And Father Brian's like, I got six steaks we could cook. You do? Yeah. <laughs> What else are you holding out on us, Father? Yeah. Um, I only have one more can of beer. Well, uh, our buddy Juan showed up with a feast. Yes. And it just like kept getting more and more, which uh, we talk about on the episode. Have, yeah, because we actually did our episode here. right yeah. here on this table yesterday, last night. Yeah. Yeah, we had like four meals and one last night for dinner. Um, <laughs> yeah. It was pretty ridiculous, but... We woke up and we had breakfast, uh, like another two meals for breakfast. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, I don't think was. any of us ate lunch. No, no nope. we did not. Nope. We fished for lunch. We did. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching our video. Cheers to Jesus. Cheers to Jesus. Cheers.